Monk mode is basically a training camp for self-improvement. It's like when an MMA fighter takes a couple of weeks to up the intensity of their training right before a big fight. Monk mode works the same way. Every facet of your life for a short period of time becomes ultra-focused on things you want to improve on. Picture yourself as Goku going into the hyperbolic chamber. When you come out of the other side, you will hopefully be a brand new and improved you. The problem is a lot of people do monk mode wrong. They'll pick a time frame that is too long or set the bar way too high, saying, I won't look at social media or touch a piece of fast food for an entire year. Monk mode should be short but focused and intense. The time frames I recommend for monk mode are 3 weeks, 6 weeks, or 8 weeks at maximum. Have you ever heard the quote, practice makes perfect? Most people say this quote wrong. It's actually perfect practice makes perfect. This makes a huge difference. It's why someone that has been boxing for 10 years, but they only train sparingly and treat it more as a hobby, can be surpassed by someone that does a year of intense, deliberate practice. The idea of monk mode is the same. It's applying the perfect practice to get ahead in whatever you choose to in a shorter period of time. You need clear-cut goals attempting monk mode or else you will just get bored and fall back into your regular routine. If you don't have a goal, here are some suggestions. Attempt a couple of weeks of intense exercise that is harder than what you usually do. This can be a period of time where you attempt to hit new personal bests and try to get into the best shape of your life. This can be something hyper-specific like learning how to edit videos or learning about finance or learning how to draw. Or it could be more general like becoming more confident, learning how to talk to strangers, etc. Whatever skills you're learning to build, make a list of them to work on throughout your day. Comment below on what skills you would build during monk mode. Sometimes the goal itself could be to return your brain back to baseline so you can enjoy the simple things again. A big part of going monk mode is trying to limit things that give us instant gratification. So it's the perfect time to dopamine fast. Doing things such as cutting out corn, cutting out fast food, and cutting down on social media time are all good things that will reset your dopamine levels and make it easier to focus on long-term goals. A lot of the things we cut out leaves us with extra time. We have to replace things we used to do or we will just return back to old habit. Expand your knowledge and learn from experts by reading books related to your self-improvement goals. Practice mindfulness and meditation to develop emotional intelligence, self-awareness, and mental clarity. Hanging out more with your family and friends and just talking and being in the moment. Walks are one of the most underrated pleasures of life. As you progress through monk mode, track your improvements and celebrate your achievements. Remember that setbacks are a normal part of the growth process. Stay committed and keep moving forward. I guarantee you will come out the other side a better person.